All right, so this video, we're just going to discuss free fall, what it is, and some pieces of information that will help you look at free fall and maybe, hopefully, solve some free fall problems. So let's imagine we have a guy with a rock. Okay, and he's going to take this rock and he's going to throw it in the air. Now, when he throws it into the air, it's going to leave his hand. And it's going to get to the top, and then it's going to come back down, right? And, I mean, we throw a ball in the air or anything like that, but this is what we see. This is the path that we see. And this parabolic motion um, is something we'll talk about later. But this parabolic motion that we see is called projectile motion. Now, the only thing we're concerned about today is this rock going from here straight up. And then back down again okay so I'm going to draw this picture one more time like this even though it's a lot tighter together I want you to see it so this object as soon as it leaves the hand of our of our person it's in something called free fall all right and all free fall means is that all you have is gravity acting on you okay so if you're in free fall all you have is gravity acting on you now that makes math that makes physics that makes a lot of things easier because once we throw something in the air the velocity goes down in fact it will slow down until it gets to the very top where our velocity becomes zero and then it falls back down again and as it falls down our velocity increases so when we throw something in the air it slows down to zero and then increases as it goes down now the good thing about gravity on earth okay and we're going to give you a number for this is that this acceleration that causes us to slow down to zero and then speed back up actually has a number at sea level that we use all the time and it's 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, because if our velocity is up and we're slowing down, and as we go down, our velocity increases, our acceleration for gravity always goes down. Gravity always pulls us down. So our acceleration is down, which means, you remember from previous, up and to the right are positive, which means down and to the left are negative. Our acceleration is actually negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And we call this number G. All right, so G is this number. And that is the acceleration due to gravity. So anywhere in equation, we talk about acceleration. All right, we can use this if we're in free fall. If gravity is the only thing acting on us, our acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So let's look back at our path again. We go up and down. Our velocity decreases. It gets up to here, and our velocity is zero. So at the very top, our velocity is zero. And then we increase down. Um, this initial velocity that we have here because gravity is all that's acting on us, is the same as our velocity on the way back down. Just going in the other direction, right? So this is positive velocity. That will be negative velocity. At the top, our velocity is zero. And our acceleration is always a constant, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Keep those things in mind when we talk about free fall. So I'll repeat it again. All right, our initial velocity is going to go upward. It's going to slow down to the very top where it's zero. And then it's going to come back down to the point where we started, where the velocity is going to be the same magnitude, just in a different direction, in this case negative. But the whole time this ball or rock is in the air, our acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now we looked at graphs, so let's look at what a position time graph looks like for this. Okay, so position time graph if we're in free fall okay and I'm going to uh, make it 
here, let's say we're launching this ball from waist level. Once it leaves our hand, it goes up, and then it will come back down to earth, right? Then this time right here, and we'll just call this T time, that's the time when it's at its highest point, all right? We would expect that that time would be the midway point for this, right? And that's what we should see in a perfect world. Now, in reality, there's air resistance and other things that act on an object, and, and hopefully we can video and graph some of this so you can see it. But the point to understand is, from where we start to the very top to where we finish, that's total time, but to get to that middle point should be half time, if all things are the same, and g, acceleration due to gravity, we're in free fall, is acting on our object, okay? So we expect to see that. Now, let's look at a velocity time graph of this same motion. I remember velocity time graph looks like this with that zero point. So we're going to start here. Since we're throwing upward, since we're throwing upward to start, we have a positive velocity somewhere here, right? And then as we go up, our velocity decreases. So we're going to come down to a point where our velocity is zero, which is up here. That's going to be our time t that we see here. And then we're going to continue down. All right. So a couple things about this velocity time graph. One, slope is negative, which means we have a negative acceleration, which we know is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. True. All right. We know at the halfway point, our velocity is zero because it stops and we know that we're going to speed up as we go away but we're slowing down as we approach time t so slow down we reach the top then we speed up as we drop back down the slope of this line all right i didn't put numbers because i didn't want to be wrong should be negative 9.8 meters per second squared or something really close okay so that's free fall Again, just remember um, the points that at the very top where, time zero, where velocity is zero. Initial velocity and final velocity at equivalent points will have the same magnitude, just a different sign. They'll be positive going up, negative going down. And then also understand with the graphing that we're going to slow down. We're going to stop, and then we're going to speed up. We're going to slow down. We're going to stop, and then we're going to speed up and that's free fall and as we start to do some work with the with the kinematic equations and acceleration you'll see well this well this will come into play thank you